Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Victoria 2. So my plan is for this to be the final part of the series. Um, so we'll put down this rebellion um, or this communist revolt. Uh, we'll help Persia retake Western Afghanistan. Um, it is Western Afghanistan, correct? I know they're taking some Afghanistan. Yeah, Western Afghanistan. Okay, I thought so. <clears throat> um... And then I'm probably going to basically just get the game up to 5 speed and just kind of power through um, the last five and a half-ish years that we have right now, uh, or whatever, just until 1936 rolls around and then the series will be over. That's at least my plan. Obviously, things could change, so let's go ahead and put down the rebels. They're not particularly big, so I will probably more or less just leave them to those two armies that are designed for putting down rebels. I say designed. They're not really designed for it. It's just that's what they do. I guess is a more accurate way of saying that. Because, yeah, those armies are going to struggle to siege down any of the forts there, even if they're not fully maxed out forts. I mean, this level 2 fort, this guy's going to struggle to siege down. Oh uh, yeah, you need to go back home, so uh, you take out any rebels you run into along the way, I guess. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make sure you actually take down any and all rebels you have run into along the way rather than just passing by these two up here. Just to make life easier for those rebel suppression armies. What happened to your army? I could have sworn Ireland's army was bigger. I mean, I know we just fought a war against the British, so that knocked them down a little bit. Oh yeah. Lowlands is worth a decent amount of indus industry score. Uh, it got them up to 11th place, so... If they were able to take the Highlands as well, which I don't... So that's another 76 if they get the Highlands, and 300 if they get the Midlands. Um, so if they took the Midlands, that gets them up to above Brazil. Only just. If they take the Highlands as well, that helps to solidify them above Brazil, but Brazil could still fairly easily retake them if they so desired. They wouldn't be able to, however, take down Scandinavia unless they proceed to take over Northeast or Northwest England, I suppose. Yes, they'd have to take down Northwest England. Actually, even Northwest England wouldn't be enough as well. Actually, no, it might just, although again, Scandinavia could potentially build up enough industry to stay in their place. So they probably have to take both Northwest and Northeast England, as well as the Midlands and the Highlands. Where is the Midlands? Oh, the Midlands are down here. Much further away from the Lowlands and the Highlands. <laughs> okay, game. Whatever. But yeah, so they basically have to take over, like, all this land right here, more or less. Um, to become a great power as Ireland. So that ain't happening. Uh, definitely not within five years. There's no way in hell they'd ever manage to accomplish that in five years. Uh, but if they had a bit more time, they probably could. Uh, or at least they'd be a little bit more likely to succeed. Okay, you go ahead and knock out those... Uh, Afghan armies, we're not doing anything in Bosnia game. So please don't give me a crisis in Bosnia, if you could be so kind. I mean, I can fairly easily avoid having it break out into an actual crisis war. Um, 
Because, you know, I got a lot of friends. You know, I've got the US, Japan, Scandinavia, all great powers on my side. So, they would be more inclined to support me should a crisis break out for Bulgaria. Although, admittedly, Bulgaria is not the most likely place. Most likely place right this second is actually here in Penapat. For I don't know what. I guess either Mughalistan independence or Indian independence. I'm not sure. Uh, because the counter here doesn't actually tell me at all what it would be for. So I don't know. All I know is apparently England has a couple of regions here with 98% flashpoint tension. Um, actually, I guess technically the highest place would be here. Egyptian liberation movement in the Ottomans. Which, that actually has a half-decent chance of succeeding. As a crisis, if it were to ever break out, because their only direct friend is Italy. Although, technically Britain has no friends right now either. I wish I could tell... Okay, here we go. Do you actually have claims on Britain? No, you don't. Okay, game's just being weird. Um, and I'm not able to actually see the relation there, apparently. Is there a relation? Oh, there is a relations map mode. Uh, Republic and Britannia and France are not the best of friends. Republic of Britannia could get an alliance potentially with Russia, but they would not be able to get one with France, because France absolutely hates them, apparently. Uh, they could get one with the Ottomans as well, that the Ottomans are in the sphere of Italy, so probably not. Britannia and Italy are not the best of friends, so they could become friends if they so desired. Okay, so yeah, there is... Britannia has some potential friends, but nobody's particularly good, if we're being honest. So if a crisis does break out for whatever is going on down here in India... I'm going to guess it's Mughalistan independence because there's some Mughal nationalists right there. That Britannia has currently failed to put down. I didn't really need your help there, Persia. I think you would have been much better off spending your time sieging down more stuff, but okay. You go ahead and siege the capital and I'll go and take uh, Faizabad. And some Afghan fascists, apparently. And some Afghan communists in the occupied territories. So I guess I'll put that down because it's important that we don't lose that. Uh, Brazil wants an alliance. You know what, Brazil? You're no longer friends with the British, so sure, we can be best of buds. Especially since I own Colombia. Colombia, you need military access? No, because you want to be pissed at me. I kind of, I mean, you've already served your purpose, so it doesn't really matter, but I would love to avoid potentially in the future need to fight a war with you regarding um, German Panama, if I could avoid it. Uh, some Ottoman fascists, nothing too big. There is it's still a decent number of Ottoman communists up here, but they're not doing anything because they can't move anywhere. So what this... Uh, I assume that says fellow journalism, but I can't quite... Or no, yellow journalism, I assume, actually, now that I think about it. But I can't really tell because the font choice. I can't quite tell if that's a, a Y or not, but I think it might be. It is therefore the solemn duty of any German citizen to, in, their, in this her darkest hour, support her country with whatever means possible, with any means at his disposal, with any means necessary. One of the nationwide publications that exist in our country has published an opinion editorial in support of our government's jingoistic war policy. This is, of course, excellent news, and the question is how we should leverage this publication to gain maximum benefit from it. Increase our international prestige just for the hell of it, or fan the flames of public opinion to make all our props more in favor of jingoism. 
which isn't the worst idea because of the war policy of the conservatives is jingoism. So, you know, kind of makes people a little bit more likely to vote conservative in this case. Or reactionary. Or one of the liberals. Or fascist is another potential option. Um, yeah, let's let's go for the more jingoism. We're not going to use it, obviously, to fight a war, but hey, you know, it might help us with um, ensuring we continue to have conservatives in power here. Oh, I don't need to go there now. Up to the very end of the game. See, Joe, Shadow Fighter Pro, he was playing a game as... Um, Prussia. And he ended up running into some issues when it came to leadership. I'm not quite sure what happened because I didn't really watch all the parts, but I believe he had the issue of the liberals actually gained a fairly decent foothold in his uh, kingdom. No, you're not getting a white piece. Why the hell would I give you a white piece, Afghanistan? Panchap just grow? I think they did. I, I, yeah, I think they did. I don't think they owned Punjabi Punjab before. No, they must have, because they definitely own this stuff over here. But I swear they just managed to gain this little bit up here. It looked like they grew, but I don't think they actually did. It just looked like it for some reason. Uh, you know, let's just go ahead and get some of these other texts. We got, we might actually manage to research all the texts. There is a half decent chance of that right now. Which would be wonderful if we do. We're still sort of hemorrhaging money for whatever reason, though it is slowly getting better and then getting worse and then getting better again. I mean, I understand we're at war, but we're not at war with any great power, so there's not much of a reason for us to be having as many issues when it comes to this. Um, there we go. You would accept that. Thank you. Now I'm going back home. Give me military access, Persia, damn it. Ah, I can... Turn this into a state now. Wonderful. Not that it means anything, but still, we can turn that into a state for whatever it's worth. Maybe we can turn Lebanon into a state by the end of this. Probably not, unless I switch a focus to it, but I don't really care to do that, so I don't plan to. And keep the game up to four speed while we bring this army over. Uh, the girl from Radom. The coal-laden tub must have weighed heavily on her body, fragile and worn for many years of arduous labor in the Radom coal pits, for her feet could no longer carry her. There in the dark, with the sh where the shafts go countless fathoms deep, she slipped and fell. Another young girl has lost her life in a coal mining accident. One of our provinces... And the particular tragedy of this case has received national attention. Uh, so it lasts a year. And slight increased local consciousness in Radom. So, you know, more people might be in favor of us changing some of our reforms. But, you know, if you want me to pass more safety regulations, you got to get them in favor of social reforms. Not political, which is what you guys have been doing the past three or four times we've manage to do any reforms whatsoever you know for whatever reason you guys just love those political reforms but none of the social ones ah we gain full i assume that's because of the bonus to jingoism but whatever the case may be ah british communists have also risen up oh they're back to great britain so they are Still anarcho-liberals, but they are a democracy again. Not in HM's government. Um, 
but you know they do have elections now. Some more naval organization. Let's see, is there anything I can do to boost up our? I don't think there really is anything I can do to boost up education at this point, unless I switch focuses to more clergy. Curiosity, where is our literacy low? Um. Oh, so sadly that doesn't tell me the exact region, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the literacy is probably low in our... Where the hell is that? Let's see. Ah, Lebanon. Okay. Yeah, that we can't really do too much for that right now, I'm afraid. Uh... Bunch of stuff in Lebanon, Balboa, Postojin, I don't know where the hell that is. Uh, that's apparently, wow, really? We've had Istria for so long and apparently we actually have some low literacy there? Really? That is actually shocking. I'm assuming these are people that immigrated from some other country, right? I don't know for certain, but that's going to be my guess. Because that's the only thing I can really think of. For why their literacy is so low. Is that they immigrated from like Yugoslavia or Albania or something. What's their... Their nationality is Slovenia. Yeah, that's going to be my guess. They probably immigrated from Yugoslavia. Is my best guess. Because... I don't understand how Istria can be so low on literacy considering we've owned it since the start of the game. Uh, clamp down on the fascists. That means they're going to rebel, of course, but eh. I don't really want them taking power at the 11th hour of the game. Uh, another girl died, this time in Rosnava. I uh, don't know what happened to those communists. They appear to have failed, I guess. Oh! Um, maybe not. <laughs> uh, let's see, so we can build the uh, Schwebing Circles. So during the reign of Prince Regent uh, Lutpold, the Schwebing area of Munich became known, probably due in large part to large university and student presence, as a bohemian hub of intellectual activity, drawing to it many modernist artists and authors, from the brothers of uh, Mann to Henrik Ibsen to Wassily Vedinsky. Support the shrubbing circles and watch our prestige rise by 25 points, which is absolutely irrelevant when you have 2300. But sure, I'll take some more. You know, there's nothing wrong with a little bit extra prestige, it's just not really that useful. Let's be realistic here. Do any of these boost uh, learning? I assume no. I assume we don't have anything else for helping our tr our pop. Oh, we do. Mass advertising plus twenty five percent education efficiency. What do we need for that? We need to be an HM's government democracy or have the national value as liberty if we want to have any decent chance of inventing this. So we got a two percent right now as our base chance, and that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Yeah. Because I can't do anything about the national value is liberty, because that's entirely dependent upon your country, and there's nothing you can do to change that. Our national value is order. Um, in theory, I could do something about the HM's government and democracy thing. Democracy gives a bit of a better bonus compared to HM's government. 
uh, but that requires me doing more political reforms, and I don't know off the top of my head which ones I need to do in this case to go to HM's government. Because we can, I've done it before off screen. I've definitely had my government type changed to an HM's government as Gross Deutschland. So, those. Nope, damn it, game. Where's my. There's my army, or my navy. Actually, you know what? Britain might still go communist. Um, off screen, I've had them go communist when I've liberated Scotland as well as Ireland. Looks like they might still end up going communist, just as a result of losing this war. So we're gonna. Oh, Jesus, Jakobins. Uh, we're sort of gonna have the German Imperial Navy just kind of watch the fall of Britain. And. Oh God. You know what? I don't really need these troops on the Russian border as much, so I'm just kind of gonna switch a bunch of them to rebel suppression. No, you, yes, you go. Same with you. God, lots of Jakobins in France. I'm just going to say that it has something to do with them being called Jakobin rebels. It's completely unrelated to the <laughs> to that end. Anyway, but we're just going to completely ignore that. I'm just going to press enter. It's much faster than me constantly moving my damn mouse. And we'll set those three armies to rebel suppression as well. So they can deal with this damn French branch and trying to make a flashpoint in Schleswig Holstein. Sure, whatever you say, game, but it ain't gonna happen. Um, oh, damn. Okay. Uh, looks like the current highest is gonna be Eindhoven now, because Ottomans dealt with their thing and so have the British. So, yeah, okay. Well, actually, no, the British haven't. I mean, I guess they sort of dealt with it. It went down, but they still have some rebel problems there in that same region. So we do have a potential risk for a crisis for Eindhoven for giving it back to the Dutch rather than the Belgians, but it doesn't really matter. And Venezuela wants an alliance. No. If I'm going to have an alliance with somebody, it's going to be Colombia because they're in my sphere and it makes perfect sense for me to do it with them um, and you know what I will go ahead and try and keep Colombia in my sphere because why not I got nothing better to do with the influence to be honest there we go dealt with the rebels any other ones I might have missed no nope. wonderful and we got some Kingsman communists down there in our African holdings and we got some Austrian reactionaries, just because why not? You know, they they saw the occupants failed and they said, well, maybe we'll succeed with the occupant. The, eh, the occupants failed, even though the occupants had a bunch more troops than they did. And more political reform. What do you guys want right now? You want harassed parties. Okay, there we go. I guess I'll give you that. I know, I know, game. People are upset. They want universal health care and they want suffrage movement. I don't know why suffrage movement is showing up there. Is suffrage for... No, it's not for voting system. Is it for more... It is. Now game. So, see, I'm looking at what the voters want, but the complaints are with regards to what the people want. Interesting. I never noticed that because for the most part they were typically fairly well aligned. Because um, right now we're on weighted wealth where the rich vote is worth twice as much as the middle class vote. If we move to wealth, you're still limited to voting from the rich and the middle class, but they become worth equal amounts, which I'm not sure if that's best for us. I mean, granted, it's only four more years we have to really survive. 
for being honest. And actually, I'm going to move Slovakia also to... Uh, actually, no. Remove the focus from Slovakia. Slovakia doesn't have a particularly large contingent of southern German, does it? Uh... You know, it's actually larger than I thought. I'm going to be honest. It actually is larger than I would have thought. 27% South German. Let's see. Lombardy is not really worth a whole lot. At only 6.9% of the population being South German. East Galicia is not worth a lot. Uh, Moravia is worth a decent amount at 46%. So let's dump some focus onto there. Uh, Veneti is not worth a lot. Rhineland isn't worth a whole hell of a lot. Baden is worth a decent amount, though it is admittedly a fairly small population as well at only a little over 1 million. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with Baden for the next one. And uh, you know what? Fine. People, if you want wealth voting, we'll give it to you and we'll just kind of hope everything goes to plan. It's only four years. When's the next election anyway, out of curiosity? Uh, oh, later this year. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because we might have just screwed ourselves. It's not that it matters too much if the liberals take power at this point. They can't really do anything. Game's already over. We've accomplished our goals. Uh, Krakow wants no screw you Krakow. Honestly, I would annex you if I could but I really can't That's not true. I could Don't want to invade Krakow and just get them out of here. Nobody's doing anything with you know what we're gonna do that Krakow It's been nice knowing you But you're kind of in the way and I kind of don't want to have to deal with you uh, Make the liberals more conscious I wasn't really planning to do another war, but you know what? I think I will. Kind of wish I had a CB for taking over Krakow, but we said... God! German communists now. And decent sized ones at that, but you know what? We'll live. I've already got a decent number of armies set to focus on putting down damn rebels, so we'll just kind of let them go and do their thing. Keep sending letters of insult, basically, to Krakow. Oh, what's this? The second sex. Although some women try zealously to incarnate the essence, it is hardly uh, patentable. It is frequently described in vague and dazzling terms that seem to have been barred from the vocabulary of the seers. And indeed, in the times of St. Thomas, it was considered an essence as certainly defined as the uh, somniferous virtue of the poppy. Uh, Duvar Simon, the second sex, a renowned German suffragette, has published a book on what can be described as the subject of feminist theory. Yeah. Feminist theory, and the book is gaining a fair amount of attention, both nationally and internationally. So you condemn the book, gain some prestige, and all pops become 3% more liberal, or denounce the book and lose some prestige, but all pops lose some consciousness. Denounce the book. Uh, I can live with the prestige loss. It literally makes no difference. I'm not doing anything in Slovenia game, don't mind me. Just ignore what I'm doing. I don't care about Slovenia right now. I care more about trying to just annex Krakow because I really want to get them out of here. Let's see, so conquest is a full 22 maximum infamy if we get caught which we probably will considering it's going to cost us 286 days uh, roughly to get this but you know what we're strong enough who's gonna fight us that's actually a good question who's gonna fight us the russians and france are still at war with the u.s right now um, and it is back in the u.s's favor just slightly mostly as a result of the ticking war score from owning um, alaska as long as the U.S. doesn't decide to go full retard, which they inevitably will because, one, they're controlled by the AI, which doesn't do a particularly great job of managing its countries. They're probably going to white peace at some point, even though they could win the war. There is nothing stopping them. They need to build up their navy because it's practically non-existent. And they need to ship a whole bunch of troops to mainland Europe. Preferably to Russia, not to France. 
So maybe not mainland Europe, maybe go to Asia and invade Russia from the east. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. I'd invade Russia from the east. Launch from Alaska to minimize travel time and land in Siberia. Supply limit is kind of crap here, but if you can fairly quickly push out, you can get to somewhat more palatable um, supply limits. But again, yeah, my army composition would do very poorly in Siberia. It's a good thing we never had to get to Siberia to beat the Russians. Still not doing anything in Lebanon game. Eindhoven is still the worst, although Cut is starting to get close. The war with Krakow should be fairly quick. Uh, eaten by cannibals. That's a shame. There's our timer, but uh, we're going to let this part run long. We are protectionism, so our trade must be protected. Uh, campaign for basic human rights needs to go national. And 2% more liberal across the entire population, or 20% more liberal in uh, Transdumba. I don't know where that is. I, I want to say 20% there is worth a whole hell of a lot less than, uh, although 55% of the population is South German, and 22% of the entire population is conservative. So South German, although admittedly South Germans tend to make a mostly socialist looks like here. There are a couple of conservative leader or focused prop, uh, pops, but a lot of it actually does look to be socialist. So do I... Uh, here's the issue. So if I make 20% of the population, now then it doesn't necessarily have to be the South Germans that go liberal. It could potentially be the Ukrainian and Romanian and Polish and other non-primary culture pops that go liberal that might not be that bad if, if it's if it stays out of the south german sphere there but i have no real control over it the game will basically just run through each one and say you flip and you don't flip and you don't flip and you flip more or less uh eh, you know what let's Let's observe it. And of course, it may not even necessarily be voting population that's that ends up flipping. Um, yeah, it sort of went into the South German sphere a bit, but I don't think it really hit the voting population too much. I mean, our voting population is, what, everything except for craftsmen, right? Are craftsmen part of upper, or no, they're part of middle, or they're, excuse me, they're part of poor. Um, officers are part of it. Eh, it might have hit, yeah, it kind of hit the voting population. Uh, yeah. That's a shame. It shouldn't really hurt us, though. We can make up those numbers elsewhere easily enough. I'm not doing anything bad, game. Yeah, but most of those conservatives we gained were as a result of the political reform we did previously. Ah, more stuff. They're really companion for that Married Women's Property Act. I'm pretty sure that's what the same one was before, but I didn't bother reading it. Um, let's actually read this one. So, a married woman owns no personal property and her legal identity ceases to exist as husband and wife are joined in one person under law and marriage. We want to change this one. Women to be able to dispose of their own property as they wish. We want the courts of law to recognize a husband and wife as two separate legal entities. The suffragette movement in the German Empire has organized rallying one of our states campaigning for the rights of women to receive recognition of the rights, deeds, and titles of property that they, in many cases, already de facto hold. Um, God damn it, I don't know. Where the hell is this? Is this Lombardia? It's Lombardia. 
How's Lombardy exactly? Uh, it's not very South German, so yeah, you can do whatever the hell you want in Lombardy. I won't stop you. Uh, we are Moralism. Along with German Empire, we get some German Fascists. Those will get put down quickly enough, though that's a decent sized one right over there. Again, we are Protectionism. And conservatives still won. Probably not nearly as much as I would have liked, to be honest, but eh, we're still doing fine because we're just kind of combining the vote of the reactionary conservatives. It it works. It's not as good as we would like necessarily, but it works. Let's see, so if the voters the only thing I can really pass when it comes to reforms is good school system next. But again, the game doesn't really let us Oh, well, we're leaning a little bit more towards the upper house being in favor of enacting a social reform compared to a political reform. That'll probably change by the time we can actually pass any reforms. I don't really care if Yugoslavia's out of my sphere, to be honest, game. And we... Luckily, it was only a 9.2, so it's not going to hurt us too badly. Oh, and the Workers' Commonwealth. So the Great Depression, a major crash on the London stock market, has devolved into something much worse entirely following massive bank runs triggered by plummeting savers' confidence in the banking sector. As people scramble to secure their life savings, more and more banks and credit institutions fail, triggering domino effects affecting the entire British financial sector. The ripples from the crash soon spread to other sectors of private industry as loans are defaulted and savings vanish seemingly into thin air. Widespread unemployment caused by entire sectors of industry failing almost overnight soon follow. With the intertwining of the economies of the Western world, the crisis quickly spreads to other countries, and the effects of the crash now reverberate around the world in what will be known to posterity as the 1933 Great Depression. Okay, and it started in the Workers' Commonwealth. We'll see how that all works out. Hey, America, I'm still giving you war subsidies, right? I am. Is that why I'm losing so much money? Because I'm giving you war subsidies? I don't know, because it's not showing up in my budget. But I think I'm giving you something like a thousand or whatever. Something like that, right? The game doesn't tell me anymore what I'm giving you. But I'm giving you a hefty sum, I believe. Y yes, Krakow is coming right for us with their 12,000 men. Beware the power of Krakow. Also like how Scandinavia basically just said, eh, we don't really care if the if the Germans are wanting to conquer the world. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I spoke a little too soon. Uh, there will be no suffrage at this junction. I don't know what junction it is, I didn't care to read it, but there will be no suffrage at that junction. Okay, so Scandinavia gave a crap, but so far Japan and um, the US don't give a crap. Uh, more people in favor of harassed parties or shut it down. Um, you know what, I really don't care too much. So we, the People's Committee for a free the German Empire. Oh, that event needs to be corrected because it should not ever say the German Empire after the word free because one, that just sounds stupid. Free the German Empire sounds like you're saying you want to free the German Empire. Not saying that you're a committee for a free German Empire. Um, but they want me to do some stuff for harassed parties. Let's see, simple demands. Bah, what do... Who do these ruffians think they are? Leaflets carrying anti-government slogans have been appearing in bars and coffee houses all across one of our states, and we suspect that they are producing an underground printing press in the region. Yada, yada, yada. Shut it down. Sure. Oh, we actually managed to get the thing for some more uh, education efficiency, so that's wonderful. And we got some Scottish nationalist uprising in... Uh, 
Ireland. Well, Scottish held Ar or Irish held Scotland rather. There we go. Oh. Well, you know what? Italy, if you want to try and stop me from annexing cacao, one, good luck. Two, you're going to need it. So are you going to try and stop me? I'm curious. Uh, all pops become 10% more liberal or we gain 15 more liberals. You know what? I'll take the 15 more liberals in the upper house because it's not permanent. Um, and that might allow us to pass some reforms that people want because the conservative party isn't particularly big on it. It looks like, oh, well, see, I don't know who it is that's allowing us to try and enact these reforms. Let's see, out of curiosity, let's check good school system. It should tell a breakdown. So fascists say no, reactionaries say no, 40% conservatives say yes, socialists say yes, 100%, same with the communists. Liberals actually are 40%. Yes, so they're the same as conservatives in this case, and the anarcho-liberals are completely against it. Um, what about something else? Uh, harassed parties. Is that more or less the same? Liberals are completely in favor of that, while conservatives and socialists are both only 40% in favor of that. And Trinket Healthcare... Conservatives and okay, so it looks like when it comes to the social reforms, the conservatives and liberals are more or less the same at a 40 60 split of yes no. While the socialists and communists are completely on board, the fascists and anarcho liberals and reactionaries are all 100% against. Yeah, you know what? We'll let you gain a couple of extra liberals in the upper house because that gets us the ability to pass a reform. Although it's going to be a political reform, apparently, because for whatever reason, they decided they're much more in favor of political reform than a social reform. In that case, our only real option is uh, harassed parties, unless I want to deal with issues from radicalism of various factions. So, sure, harassed parties. So, ruling parties support plus 15% instead of the plus 20% we get from only underground. And a little bit more immigrant attraction, which doesn't really mean anything, because unless those immigrants assimilate to South German, they can't vote anyway. They also have to become middle or upper class as well, even if they do become South German. And yeah, Italy realized they're not going to do anything. Uh, more pops in Picard to become reactionary and we lose some consciousness or gain more liberals in the upper house. Again, well, I can't pass any reforms anyway right now. I just passed any, so even if I gain more liberals in there and they become in favor of passing a reform, I can't do anything until January of 34. You know what? I think I'm going to be in favor of more reactionary because our coalition is a conservative reactionary coalition that gets us in power so let's see we covered the entire city me and the girls split up met at the corner of main street and third and then went off to eat. each try to cover a block or two it was hard work but i remember it is a happy time german suffragettes have undertaken the leaflet campaign in one of our states yada 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 more or less the same as before mostly that top part changed and yeah i'm not sure how the locals will feel about all this littering not sure at all It helps us out in this case. Yeah, Italy doesn't give enough of a crap. Uh, let the boys in blue have their way. What's this? Rebels have risen up in Persia. Persia, you're having rebels. You are. Tiny ones, you can deal with that yourself. Let's annex Krakow, and now we have a nice clean border. We don't have this weird country just sitting inside of our country. So, makes things nice and neat. And gives us complete control of West Galicia as well. So we no longer have German West Galicia and Krakow West Galicia or whatever. Ooh! 
Scandinavia, are you fighting a war against the French? Why? Oh, Russian liberation of Northern Finland. Yeah. Um. Oh, did the U.S. succeed in its war? No, they failed, as per usual. Because the U.S. completely sucks when it comes to conquering. Oh, I lost military access with you, didn't I? I did. Well, once you get over the infamy issue, we'll be fine. So I'll just kind of sit there. It's not like they're going to kick me out or anything. And you know, I don't think we're going to manage to hit that 100% uh, literacy that I was hoping for. Also, I will give you some more subsidies. Scandinavia. Um, actually, I probably should have gone for the more uh, reaction or the um, straight extra uh, liberals in the upper house. But whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Oh. You went socialist. Those were communist rebels, though, here, right? I believe they were, so that didn't really do anything. Uh, let's try to get rid of the militancy, so work harder. I don't know what the militancy is like in that state. I didn't pay attention to what state it was either. Uh, you know, I think we're going to have to raise taxes a little. Or raise tariffs. Let's do tariffs. Eh, we can do taxes. Uh, maybe not tax the poor that much. Let's uh, close the gap a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, what is this? It is therefore my conclusion that although there are certain professions generally unsu eh, unsuitable for women to occupy, their presence in the workplace poses no fundamental threat to the social order. A well-known and respected member of our military establishment has today published an opinion editorial in the Vienna Courier. Or, yeah, one of the German Empire's leading dailies in what has been described as the biggest career blunder in the decade, the general has advocated the inclusion of women in the workplace, in factories and businesses, arguing primarily that their inclusion and protection under law would only amount to a confirmation of the already established de facto state of women being employed. See, the legal status of women in the workplace is place obviously needs to be regulated or the man clearly has no future in the German army, which gains us some more prestige and makes all soldiers in the German Empire more conservative. Out of curiosity, what's the uh, soldiers makeup of uh, slightly more liberal, actually? That's fine. I don't know what the breakdown is when it comes to... Uh, Ones that can actually... Actually, none of the soldiers can vote anyway. Because they're part of the poor. And the poor don't get any voting power right now. They have to become officers if they want to be able to vote. Um, I mean, I suppose still the better option is to just say... This, just to get that boost to conservative. So if they do manage to upgrade to an officer or something else, they at least will be conservative. What's this? Uh, not sure how they'll feel about this littering. More reactionaries. It's this organic work. Um, support the movement. Actually, out of curiosity, Gokau, what's your literacy like? Is it bad? It's actually pretty good. You have almost 100% literacy. Let's see, Persia wants an alliance, Belgium wants an alliance. Let's get our alliance back with Ireland. Uh, Japan, you broke your alliance with me. That's a shame. The US, you also broke your alliance with me. That's a shame. You shouldn't have done that. China's gonna piss off and Albania will stay. Uh, mitigate the policy slightly. I don't know how far we've gone over my um, original thing, but that's fine. We're almost done. Like I said, this is going to be a longer part. I think we might have even actually passed over an hour now. I'm not sure. Uh, gain consciousness, whatever. Um, No, Liberia. I don't care about you anymore. 
Uh, same, we'll do the bottom option again. Netherlands wants an alliance. Okay, military access in Ireland so our guys here can stop having any issues. And international crisis, goddamn. I was really hoping to avoid an international crisis. <sighs> do I save Belgium or do I give the Netherlands their shit back? That's really the question. I'm kind of inclined to give the Netherlands their crap back. And they'll accept that, of course they will. And we don't even go to war. All's right with the world there. So it's almost the end of 1934. I don't give a crap about Korea. So 1935 is the last year in which the game... Oh, who the hell are you? I assume you're a country down here, right? Yes, you are. Ooh. The Indian uh, powers of, are no longer in Britain's sphere. Yeah, I'm not going to give you anything, but hey, if you guys want to try and stoke rebellion, be my guest. Uh, stuff for uh, Wallachia. I don't give a crap about Wallachia. Uh, yeah, Scandinavia's going to lose that war. I'm not shocked in the slightest, to be honest. That is literally a case of, in a move, shocking nobody. Uh, more reactionaries. Brazil, I'll give you your alliance back, sure. Uh, yes, we will proceed to attend the event. Glory to our youth. Venezuela wants an alliance. Venezuela is not getting an alliance. Long live the German Empire. Scandinavia wants the alliance back. They can have it. Long live the German Empire again. And 1934 is over, and we have conservatives in the upper house. That is slightly shocking, to be honest. I mean, it's great, but it is slightly shocking, to be honest. Oh, yeah, Zulu, how are you doing down here? I kind of forgot about you. Uh, you're doing fine. You're still a proletarian dictatorship. You do you. And more reforms. What do we do? Weighted universal. So everybody gets a vote. That's actually not the worst thing for us because we've already done a couple of things that made soldiers more conservative. So that might be fine. And it doesn't really matter because the next election is 1937 and the game ends at the start of 1936. So yeah, it's completely irrelevant, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, study circle. A small study circle dedicated to several issues close to the suffragette agenda for women's votes has, during the last few years, begun developing a name for itself in the international debate on women's rights. The German school, as the circle is now being known, has published several tra tracks on philosophy, politics, and economics, all relating to the plight of women all across the world. Let's see, let us bask in the glow of this little gem of international renown that just fell into our lap. Or let us hush up this blot of shame on our national pride before someone catches wind. You know what? I don't give a crap. I'll take the extra prestige just for the hell of it. How unfortunate. And I'm going to try to remember to save right at the very end of December, just for something I'm curious about. Or not the very end of December, the start of December, rather. Well, I don't think we're going to manage to hit 100% literacy, but we might manage to actually research all of the text, which is its own achievement in a way. Yeah. Uh, unless we get some bonuses, probably not actually, because that should be that's currently projected to be completed right at the end of December, which is a little bit too late actually. So uh, let's hope we get some bonuses for that. Or our literacy improves and gives us some bonuses as a result. Uh, fight the disease with every means available. We got a flu pandemic. Uh, 
Uh, again, I'll to just take the prestige. Screw it, I don't really give a crap. Um, I'll decrease militancy if we can. Thank you very much. Uh, Moravia, I don't think, has a particularly large South German population, so they can go conservative if they want, or liberal if they want. There we go. That did not help as much as I expected it to. Honestly, I'm not reading most of these anymore because I just frankly don't give a crap. You know, if this stuff had popped up earlier, I might have cared a little bit more, but it's literally at the very end of the freaking game game. Yeah, we're not going to quite manage to achieve that, which is kind of sad. Oh, we can proceed to do this and that'll automatically outlaw meetings, which, yeah, whatever. And we're not going to bother. Again, it's a little too late for it to mean anything. Okay, now I'm going to save real quick. Just for something out of my own curiosity. Uh, something should be forgotten. And yeah, we didn't that. I knew we weren't actually going to finish that on December 31st, like you said. There's no way that was going to actually happen. So we lost conservatives in the upper house. Doesn't really matter. 100 monumentous years have passed and we have changed, or we have entered the modern age. The world is a radically different place. How did your country do? I'd say we did pretty good, personally. It was a bit of a rough start at some points, when I was needing to deal with the coalitions against us.